Hello Aquarius, welcome. If you're new, welcome back. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much for checking out this video. This is a love reading. This is gonna be the 411. Um, so we're gonna get right into uh, what's going on in your connection, what's challenging the connection, what you need to know, and what's the potential outcome for the near future. So we're gonna get right into it, let's see. For Aquarius. Now this will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have a connection in mind, okay? And as always, it's a general reading, so it cannot and will not resonate with every Aquarius watching, okay? So just keep that in mind. All right, Aquarius, let's see what's going on. What can you tell me about the connection that Aquarius is dealing with? What's going on in there? Love life. Soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Okay, what else can you tell me about what's going on here? Release your ex. Well, that's kind of like an ironic twist. <laughs> Bottom of the deck, stay optimistic about your love life. So it's almost like, yes, this is your soulmate, but someone here has to release an ex. And I swear, I don't know what's going on with my channel, but I feel like I keep getting the same messages for like every other sign. And I use different decks. I, just, I shuffle my decks a lot, you know, and I feel like everybody's kind of in the same boat here, which is, you know, it's, it's a little strange. All right, so let's see what deck do I want to use. I think I want to use this one, the Tarot of the Divine. So let's get some more information. What's going on here, Spirit? What's going on here between Aquarius and this other person? What's going on? Some of you are dealing with an Aries. That's for some of you. I feel like if you're dealing with an Aries, this might resonate for you. All right, let's see. What are the mutual energies here, Spirit? For Aquarius, please. What is going on in this connection? The High Priestess. Something hidden, something not being communicated, something needing to be discovered or learned. Ten of Wands. Seven of Wands. Interesting. It's almost like there's like opposition or someone needs to like fight for this. There's a challenge. Hmm. There's a burden in this connection. I feel like this Ten of Wands has something to do with... It's almost like this is something that has been dead for a long time and the reason i say that is because for the first time i've ever used like i've been using this deck for a while but for the first time i noticed that skull at the base of this tree it's like something's growing or out of a dead skull or a dead thing if that makes sense and so i immediately thought it's like something here is lingering persisting even though it's been dead What else can you tell me? Let's clarify these energies for Aquarius, please. Now keep in mind, this will not resonate with every Aquarius watching, and that's okay. It's just not your reading this time around. You'll know if it's your reading soon enough. If it's not your reading, check out my other um, love readings for Aquarius. Or check back next week to see what else comes out for Aquarius. Why is the High Priestess here? Four of Cups Reverse. Someone's had a change of heart. And I feel maybe they've kept this to themselves. This could also be that they're interested in something again. That they weren't interested in before. Open to an opportunity again that they were closed off to before. Empress Reverse. Because something hasn't been growing or manifesting for them.
the hermit virgo energy again with the quiet someone's being very quiet and then seven of wands reverse someone hasn't been communicating this whatever they're um realizing or thinking about whatever answers they're seeking with the hermit they're holding back with the four of pentacles here they're not communicating what's going on in their head right now this could be a secret or something that this person is still figuring out and i say this person because this is mutual energy so you're both here this is what's going on in your connection A lot of thinking here. I feel like it's about this Ten of Wands. What's this Ten of Wands about? There's the Ten of Wands here. The High Priestess. <laughs> yes, well, <laughs> what I just said. <laughs> I feel like this is about this Ten of Wands. Tell me about the Ten of Wands, please. Whatever burden or situation that's been lingering, I feel like someone, yeah, Page of Cups, I feel like someone hasn't really been open about this. They have something to say, maybe even an apology or an expression of love, but they're holding back. The star, there you are, Aquarius, showing up in your own reading. Um, maybe someone has a wish or maybe they need to heal something. With the star, judgment at the bottom. This is a huge like realization here, page of wands. Definitely something that needs to be communicated. This is something, a message that needs to come through. Someone's really evaluating the past, where they're at in life, looking at what maybe they need to apologize for or what needs healing, or maybe um, having hope or faith in something new, something that inspires them with the star. I'm not taking this but three of wands reverse okay so i feel also like this is all about a missed opportunity tell me about the seven of wands what's the seven of wands about eight of cups a departure walking away towards something that's more emotionally fulfilling something that's more abundant me about the seven of wands again with like communication page of swords it's like somebody um somebody's going to talk about a departure and there's going to be opposition is what i'm picturing here this person could be doing research um seeking information about how to leave a situation and for a reverse aries energy they might feel powerless, like they can't get this done, or like they don't have all of the resources. Maybe they don't have the confidence, or it could be that they're dealing with someone very difficult that is fighting them on this, on leaving a situation. This could be you, or it could be your person. So let's see, let's see what's going on with both of you. All right, Aquarius, let's get into this. Tell me about Aquarius. What is Aquarius thinking or feeling at this time regarding this other person or this connection? Unhealthy attachment, toxic bound codependent. This connection is an unhealthy attachment. Yikes. So you might be wondering if this is already like becoming unhealthy, if this is too much for you. You could be in a situation at home that is toxic or not the best environment. What about Ari, uh, Aries? Oh my God, I keep wanting to say Aries here. What is going on? Tell me about Aquarius and the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What, what about their person? What are their energies? What are their energies towards this connection? Oh, they want both. Okay. Budding romance and broken silence. Yeah, suppressed feelings must be expressed, be vulnerable definitely this person has something to say i feel like it's about love new love romance courtship it's about how they feel so let's see now aquarius i have you on this side i have your person on the other but feel free to flip them if they resonate more okay so let's see how are you feeling about each other Tell me about Aquarius's energies. 
kind of their thoughts or feelings regarding this connection. The magician. Okay, so you want to make something happen here regarding this person. Five of coin. Maybe there's a disconnect between you. Maybe there's uh, not a lot of communication. Maybe you feel left behind, abandoned, like you are struggling or missing this person. Eight of coin. You're definitely working on something here because you want something. Nine of wands. You want something to happen. You could even work with this person. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? For? What are their energies at this time? Three of Wands reverse. Yeah, this could be a this could have been a missed opportunity. Page of Coin reverse. What else can you tell me about this other person? Six of coin. Yeah, it's like wanting to make things right. I feel though this person's not going to be able to really give you much with a page of coin reverse. They're probably still working on it. They need to be careful because the three of wands reverse can be very impulsive uh, energy. Someone that doesn't plan very well, that gets into trouble. Three of wands reverse. This could be somebody that... I don't know, for some reason, they make mistakes because they're not thinking through very well. Maybe they're impatient and frustrated and it causes them to kind of make mistakes here. But with the Six of Coin Reverse, I feel like this is somebody that feels the same way about you that you feel about them. Someone that wants to even this out, wants to bring back balance. And I have the Hermit at the bottom again. So it's almost like this is still something this person is figuring out on their own. They've withdrawn to think about things. They probably aren't communicating very well. You could be dealing with a Virgo. Let's see, what are you manifesting? What is Aquarius manifesting? Ace of Wands, a new beginning. Okay, so you want a new beginning with this person. Okay, why is the page of coin reverse over here? Hey man, reverse. Why is the page of coin reverse? The person's probably stuck in a situation or not wanting to sacrifice too much right now. Eight of cups reverse. Yeah, this is someone that I feel like wants to leave a situation. I have the eight of cups up right here and then it comes out reverse but they're prevented from doing so possibly because of money or finances knight of coin reverse this is someone that's going to be delayed in getting whatever they want to get done done all right so let's see what is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you aquarius i'm using my secret moon oracle deck this should be available soon by the time this video comes out It'll be available in my Etsy shop, so check out that link down below. If it's not um, listed there, it will be soon. All right, what is this person secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? I'm heartbroken. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? I desire you bottom of the deck I have a lot on my plate I'm struggling that's that ten of wands and yeah I feel like this is not going to be easy for your person they're heartbroken possibly because I feel like they're repressed like they've repressed something about how they truly feel and you know I feel like they they want you they want this connection they want something new this is probably something they weren't expecting to feel. Um, but now it's like they realize like, hey, I have a lot on my plate. This might not, what's behind, I'm struggling. I see you in my dreams thinking about you. What? This person, I feel like there's a tie that you have to this person. So let's get into this a little bit further here. Let's, let's figure this out. What's the 411? What do we need to know? What's challenging or blocking this connection? What's preventing you from moving forward or 
What do you need to know about this connection? For Aquarius, please, November 2020. What do we need to know, sir, about Aquarius and this other person? What can you tell us about this connection? What's challenging this connection? What's blocking or challenging this connection? Wheel of Fortune, Page of Pentacles. What do we need to know? What are the hidden factors here? What do we need to know about this connection? Oh, that's way too many. Okay, they want me to take them. Okay. Okay. I wasn't going to take them, but they, <laughs> they were like, nope. Okay, so challenges or blocks. I feel like timing and uh, finances or an actual offer of commitment or something concrete here. Maybe it's just not the right time. What you need to know, I feel like there's some sort of third party situation here or some sort of interference that could be family related. I feel like someone hasn't let go of this with the four of pentacles reverse or needs to let go of this. This could also be fear letting go of their fear but I feel like they're, they're, if, if you don't know this already Aquarius there's some sort of interference here yeah and there you are Aquarius the star and the nine of swords there's fear I feel involved here tell me about the wheel of fortune why is this a challenge or a block. King of Cups, why is this a challenge for a block? The Hermit Reverse. I feel like someone has run away with their feelings, like they're, they've escaped from their feelings or don't wanna face how they truly feel. Um, perhaps they weren't ready for these feelings, like I was saying earlier. Knight of Swords. I feel like the right time to talk here, the right time to come back, to reappear, to no longer be withdrawn and quiet. Someone needs to communicate, you know, with this Knight of Swords. They need to communicate and they need to communicate openly and honestly here. Break the silence. And this is going to be about how they feel, but I think that they're waiting for the right time. And then I have the Ten of Coin reverse at the bottom with the queen of coin reverse and the empress reverse. My goodness, this could be a long-term commitment here that either you are in or this person is in. I don't know why I keep getting this, these messages. I feel like the people that watch me are all in the same boat. And so these are the messages that keep coming out. Why is the page of pentacles a challenge or a block? Page of wands. Courage, taking action, moving quickly. Ace of coin, wow. I feel like there's potential here. And then I have the Empress reverse. There's potential here for something really great to take place, for something really solid and stable to begin, an offer to be made. But I feel like they, they're challenged to, from even making a small offer. Like even, this is something as small as asking you out on a date, wanting to like go hang out, something like that. I feel like that's a challenge or a block because of the timing. And also because, you know, you can't really talk about an opportunity if you're not talking, if you're not opening up about that, right? Like, otherwise it's just dreams. What's this Three of Swords reverse about? What do we need to know about this Three of Swords reverse? Five of Wands, drama, conflict, arguing, too many cooks in the kitchen, judgment, making a judgment call, a second chance, a rebirth, an awakening. I feel like someone's having a 
an, a wake-up call regarding an interference. The Wheel of Fortune reverse. Yep. Something to do with things like... It's like they're having a wake-up call, right? Like they're having a realization. But they're also understanding that doing something about this realization is going to bring about a mess. Like drama, conflict. It's going to be very difficult with the Wheel of Fortune. It's going to take a long time. Maybe resources. It's going to have to take like a whole shifting of someone's life. What's this Ten of Cups reverse about? Knight of Wands. The Devil reverse. Breaking free. Two of coin reverse. Capricorn energy with the devil. Someone breaking free of something here that's holding them back. Keeping them stuck. This could be addictions, temptations, unhealthy choices, unhealthy attachments. This is a mental block more than anything, an emotional block more than anything. It's not a physical restriction. So I feel like this is someone that needs to like, literally like they wanna break free and run. Like run away with the Knight of Wands. This is gonna feel like require a choice, like a choice between two, a choice that's a deliberate choice here. A choice to have movement, to move towards something, to communicate with the Eight of Wands. So I feel like what you need to know is that someone's going to be delayed from actually moving away from this because there is going to be a storm of conflict that like surrounds this person. You know, it's not going to be the right time or everything's going to look like or feel like it's going wrong with the Wheel of Fortune reverse. Someone needs to break free of something and go after what they want. Um, they desire you, sure, but, you know, action must be taken. And I feel like when, when, when the action is taken, it's like almost like this person is running, this Knight of Wands is running right into this conflict. And there's potential here. I feel like there's serious potential here for this to be something great. Um, but there's something unhealthy here underlying this, you know? There's something unhealthy here. I feel like there's heartbreak with the Ten of Cups reverse because of the situation that someone finds themselves in. So let's see, what's the what's the potential outcome then? What's going to happen in the near future? Now what I'm going to do is um, pick a few cards here for the potential outcome. And then we'll take this to the extended where we're going to dig deeper into what the outcome is all about, clarify it look at their true intentions and possibly their next actions and then we'll wrap it up with advice from spirit maybe even some information on timing so if this is resonating for you um, in any way then leave me a comment tell me how it's resonating for you I love to hear from you or you can uh, check out the extended it's linked down below in the description box all right, Aquarius, what is the potential outcome in the near future, please, Spirit? For Aquarius. Justice, wow, Libra energy. Things being fair, a fair outcome. The Emperor, Aries energy, wow. This is someone taking charge, having courage, restabilizing a situation, bringing back balance to something. Queen of Wands reverse, interesting. 
Ten of Swords at the bottom here. Oh, okay. Excuse me. <laughs> Cards just went flying. Ten of Swords with this Queen of Wands reverse. What's behind that? King of Cups reverse. I feel like this Queen of Wands reverse, I don't know who they are, but they're not happy. They're not a happy camper. I feel like this Emperor taking charge, whoever this is, I feel like someone's not going to be happy. This justice is a final decision being made. And I feel like this decision has to do with some sort of difficult ending. A betrayal, possibly. This Queen of Wands reverse is someone with a short temper. They uh, tend to make decisions that affect other people, but they don't really think that far ahead. Um, they don't think of the consequences of their actions. Um, they can be very impulsive. Um, they just want what they want. And they don't care like who they have to run over to get it. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. So I feel like there's going to be some balance restored here. This emperor is going to take charge of the situation and someone's not going to be happy. I mean, that's what I'm seeing. All right, Aquarius. Um, if you'd like to support the channel for free, please consider hitting the like button and subscribing. If you enjoy my readings, it helps the channel grow. I appreciate everyone who has already done that and continues to support the channel. Thank you so much. And I will see you all in another video. Take care.